Thank you, Bill. Um, Charles McElpose, um, I'll let you introduce yourself. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming out tonight and to hear us all speak and take an interest in this issue that's going to affect our community. My name is Charles McAlose, as Susan said, and I'm an Adams County resident. I'm living in Freedom Township here in Gettysburg. And while I know a good portion of the people opposed to the proposal to build a casino here in Gettysburg are anti-gambling, I am here to tell you that some of us are not. I'd like to state right from the beginning that I don't have a problem with the existence of casinos or with gambling in general. I believe people are entitled to do what they want to with their own lives as long as they're exercising self-control and responsibility so that they do not hurt or otherwise negatively affect others. Now that said, I'm also here to tell you in no uncertain terms that a casino in Gettysburg is a bad idea. While I'm still relatively young in years, I've had quite a lot of experiences in my own life on which to draw wisdom from and which allow me to understand where people from a lot of different walks of life are coming from. I've both worked for minimum wage and I've also been well paid for my time and experience. I've given everything I could on the job and had the experience of losing my job for nothing better than making too much money. I've felt the pain of unemployment. I know how inadequate the systems to deal with it are. I've had successes and failures in my life and feel blessed and thankful for the things I have and have achieved and for the people I have in my life. I'm a husband to a wonderful wife and father of three boys who I see as three chances to make the world a better place. I'm a small information technology business owner and have been so for over 10 years and have managed to live solely off of it for about the last eight, allowing me to have more time to do things for my boys. I coach baseball, I coach soccer, and now I also referee it. I study karate and I'm also a living historian and reenactor who volunteers time to do programs for the National Park Service at Gettysburg, Antietam, Yorktown, Richmond, and Manassas battlefields. So you might say I live a full life. Now the fact of the matter is that what you might find interesting is that each of these different hats that I wear in life all lead me to the same conclusion, that a casino in Gettysburg, and in particular this specific proposal, is a bad idea. As a father and husband, I moved here with my family in 2008 seeking a better life. Having lived in the Baltimore area for all my life up to that point, I saw how things were changing there. My boys had, for the most part, a good experience in their elementary school. But my oldest son, in his first year of middle school, was dealing with threats from another kid, mistreatment from some others. I would take my boys out to a public fast food restaurant and hear grown adults yelling and cursing at each other over nothing in front of my boys. Something that never would have happened when I was a kid. I would walk outside the local Home Depot and hear people talking on their cell phones out loud about extremely inappropriate and adult matters. It was just ridiculous. Now, I've been coming to Gettysburg regularly since 2003 when I first got involved in my Civil War unit and was always struck by what a great community it was. People were friendly, the town is clean, and it gave all appearances of, of a family-friendly community. And I think it was around 2005 that my wife and I first discussed living here. I love Mr. Reaver's comments, right? We actually looked into housing but never got anything concrete going at the time. Later we heard about the plans for a casino on Route 30 and we were appalled. We couldn't see a casino fitting in with such a family-friendly community. So we waited it out, and then once we knew the proposal was defeated, decided to talk about a move to Gettysburg again. In Freedom Township, we were struck by how the people jogging along, riding on their lawn tractors, or even driving by you would wave to a perfect stranger. We found a great home there with more living space and land than we had ever had, and we're very happy with where we're at. It took a lot of work and sacrifice to achieve it, but it's been worth it. Unfortunately, once again, we're amazed and appalled that anyone would try building a casino in such a great family community and pit its residents against each other in the process. Gettysburg is a precious rarity. I know there are other locals who have lived here all their lives and feel that Gettysburg is behind the times and needs to evolve and become more modern, but the fact of the matter is you, you can't truly appreciate something until you know what it's like when you don't have it. Gettysburg is peaceful. You can see the stars at night. And on a really clear summer night, you can see the Milky Way. The kids in this area are well adjusted for the most part and respectful. And more importantly, for the most part, the adults act like adults. A casino would bring the wrong elements to the town. It would taint it. It would inevitably bring crime, drunk drivers, and other problems that this community is not even close to being adequately prepared for. Casinos are an environment that encourage vices, often to excess. But they know, quite frankly, that people won't have fun there if they're being told to follow too many rules, and they want the experience to be pleasurable. The problem with this is that that attitude ultimately leads to a continuation of that type of excessive behavior leaking out, and most unfortunately, affecting others negatively. Casinos belong in cities, with larger police forces to handle those who go in and ultimately fail to exercise adequate self-control and end up, end up committing acts that hurt others, 
not in a small rural communities with families. Worse yet, the problems would occur over time and end up having to be inherited by our children to deal with. Now you know how I feel as a father and as a resident, but that's not my only reasoning why this is a bad, bad for our community. As a coach, I also see the proposed location puts in jeopardy a resource that many of our Gettysburg Little League baseball coaches use, the All-Star Sports Complex. What, when it rains, we would often try to have our teams meet at All-Star to practice indoors so that they would not miss out on practice. Now I can't speak for the league, just for myself, but let me just say that if this does happen and they were to keep the All-Star Complex intact, I would not want to bring the kids that I'm coaching there. I see coaching as a responsibility and feel that bringing kids so close to an active casino is wrong. However, I have to say that all signs point to the removal of this resource altogether. Why? Because the hotel will have to remain in use and the only viable building on that property for the actual casino to exist in would be the sports complex building. The problem when either situation occurs is that there is no other resource of this type closer than half an hour away. If a coach was even to consider an alternative source, they would have to look at Hanover, Hagerstown, or Frederick, none of which I believe any coach or parent can make the extra time to drive to. Now, while my reasons as a father and a coach are important, I also see this proposal from the perspective of a businessman. As I previously mentioned, I run an information technology business and have been doing so for the last 10 years. Now, I'm often faced with just how to justify expenses involved in meeting my customers' IT needs. My experience as an IT professional has enabled me to be able to see both the minutia, the little stuff, and the big picture when examining problems. Likewise, coming from an entrepreneurial family, my brother, father, and great-grandfathers all own businesses, I have a strong appreciation for two common business considerations, ROI, which means return on investment, and TCO, which means total cost of ownership. Now looking at the prospect of a casino in Gettysburg, I see a problem both from the ROI.